Test, test. Seems a little loud. Test, test. Seems a little loud. How's that? Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to a Wednesday night auction. Before we get started tonight, I want to make a quick announcement as pertains to Florence, both the hurricane and the person. I'm just kidding. Um, but we've had some laughs about that. Um, first of all, everyone, please stay safe. Second of all, as you uh, may know, we have a 10 to go auction in Annapolis this Friday. Now, we are still going to hold the auction. If you live to the south, which we know several of our customers do, please, please be safe. Okay, if you are coming in, we are still holding it. Um, we have every reason to believe that the hurricane is going to just hit the Carolinas and then move south, so we're not worried about it. Um, so please feel free to come. Usually less people will come to an auction like this, so there are more deals, just to let you know, here on Friday in Annapolis. But again, if you're in Virginia or the Carolinas, do not feel compelled to come if, you, if you're remotely concerned about your safety. Okay? Just wanted to get that out of the way. Here we go with, oh yes, and by the way, uh, tonight's broadcast is actually going to be shown on ProxyBid Live, on uh, ProxyBid on their Facebook page. So if anyone's watching and you've never watched us before and you have any complaints about me, my name is Stuart Holbrook, H-O-L-B-R-O-K. Please feel free to uh, write very long, detailed letters about everything I did wrong. Stuart Holbrook. Okay, here we go. Number one. We have a 12-inch petite French bisque smiling poupée by Leon Casimir Brew from around 1872. What do we have? 16. And now $1,700 bear and $1,700 bear. 16 is a bit now 17 and $1,700 bear. And $1,700 bear. And 16 is a bit now 17 and $1,700 bear. And, and now 18, $1,800 bear. And now 19 and $1,900 bear. And $1,900 bear. And $1,900 bear. And now 2000 And 2000 and two thousand dollars bear, and two thousand dollars bear, nineteen hundred to bit now two thousand and two thousand dollars bear, and two thousand dollars bear, nineteen hundred to bit now two thousand and two thousand and two thousand dollars once, and two thousand dollars twice, and that'll be nineteen hundred to the phone bidder. Number two is a fourteen inch German bisque cloth character by Kathy Cruz with the most endearing expression from circa nineteen twenty five. What do you have? And now $900 wear and $900 wear. It's an all cloth doll with a pressed and oil painted hair and facial features, brown eyes, and a tiny mouth with a wistful expression. And I'm at $850 looking for $900 and $900 wear. And $900 wear. It's very good. There's some body discoloration and touched up on the hair, but you know, it's from 1925. So $850 on $900, $900 wear. And $900 wear. $850 is a bit on $900. $900 wear. And $900, $900 once. I'm going to give her give him one quick turn. $900 twice. And sold. 850. Number three is 850. 850. Number three is a 20 inch German bisque doll. It's a rare model 1279 by Simon and Halbig. It is generally excellent. What do you have? 475. 475, and now 500 and $500 wear, and $500 wear. It's generally excellent original body finish, except three fingers are retouched. Simon and Helbig, circa 1900. It's a rare model. I'm at 500, looking for 550, and 550 wear, and 550 wear. It's wooden, ball jointed body, linen sailor suit, undergarments, and leather shoes. I'm at 500, looking for 550, and 550 wear, and 550 wear, and 550 wear, and 500 is a bit now 550, and 550, and 550 once, and 550 twice. Everybody happy? Five hundred dollars. Seven ninety-two. Number four does not appear to exist. Okay, so number five is a fifteen-inch German bisque gentleman doll with a rare brown sculpted hair and fancily sculpted bodice. He is generally excellent from Germany around eighteen seventy-five and two hundred dollars regular and two and now two and a quarter and two and a quarter wear and two and a quarter wear bisque shoulder head with short brown sculpted hair in side parted fashion with rolls of horizontal curls painted blue eyes and sculpted shirt and bow tie with gilt edging and blue polka dots muslin stitch jointed body leather boots and bisque lower arms in a silk costume at two hundred looking for two and a quarter two and a quarter once and two and a quarter twice. Two hundred dollars. Seven ninety nine. Number six. Eighteen inches of German bisque child by Kessner, model one seventy one, with the original mohair wig and body. Two fifty. And now two seventy five wear. Two seventy five wear. Two fifty is a bit out. Two seventy five. Three hundred. Three and a quarter. 
350. And 350 where? And 350 where? And 3 to quarters of a bit out 350? Now 350 where? And 350 where? She's nicely costumed. She's generally excellent. And original body and body finish. Original uh, wig, paint, Kessner, circa 1910. Uh, bisque socket head, brown glass sleep eyes. Uh, open mouth, four porcelain teeth, blonde mohair wig. I'm at 375 looking for four and four hundred dollars bear and four hundred dollars bear and three seventy five and now four and four hundred dollars bear if you want and four hundred dollars bear and four hundred dollars bear. Three seventy five and now four and four hundred dollars bear if you want in four hundred dollars bear and three seventy five and now four and four and four hundred dollars once and four hundred dollars twice. Everybody happy? Three seventy five. Seven eight eight. Number seven is a ten inch German bisque lad with sculpted hair, uniform, possibly rectangle. Uh, what do you have? And now 150, and now 175. No. Well, no, 125, and now 150, now 150 where? And 150 where is a phantom ding. Generally excellent. Solid dome bisque head with blonde human hair and taglio blue eyes. Closed mouth with a pouty expression. Sonnenberg composition and wooden fully jointed body in a blue woolen costume. I'm at 125 looking for 150, and 150. I have 150? And now 170. So what, what, that wasn't a phantom ding then. Must have been, uh, so there was a phantom ding, and then there was a bid without a ding. Right. Okay, or possibly it just wasn't a phantom ding. That's the other thing that I'm thinking of. All right, so now I'm at one seven. That was two hundred, and now two and a quarter where, and two and a quarter where. Two and a quarter, now two and a quarter, now two and a quarter where, and two and a quarter where, and two and a quarter where. Two and a quarter, now two and a quarter, two and a quarter, two and a quarter once, and two and a quarter twice. Everybody happy? Two hundred dollars. Seven nine two. Number eight is a 23-inch French black-complexioned bisque bebe favorite by Lanternier. $475. And now $500 wear and $500 wear. $475 and now $500 and $500 wear and $500 wear. It's marked a deposé uh, Francais favorite number eight by J.E. Mazon. It's got all. It's quite a mark. They practically wrote an entire paragraph uh, on this particular doll. It's generally excellent. Uh, finishes on the head and the body vary. Well, I, I wonder why they wrote so much on it. Uh, Lanternier, circa 1915, 475 and now 500, and 500 dollars wear, and 500 dollars wear, and 475 and now 500, and 500, and 500, and 500 dollars once, and 500 dollars twice. Is everybody happy? 475. 777. Number nine is a 15-inch German Biss Child 164 by Kestner with an original signed body. What, and now 375 wear and 375 wear and 350 is a bit now 375 and now 375 wear. It's generally excellent. Original body and body finish. Kestner, circa 1910. Uh, bisque socket head, brown glass, sleep eyes, open mouth, four porcelain teeth, auburn hair, composite, auburn, Okay. Uh, composition and wooden ball jointed body. I'm at 350 looking for 375 and 375 and 375 once and 375 twice. Everybody happy? Are you sure? 350. 792. Number 10. We have a 19 inch German bisque lady with sculpted black hair in an elaborate coiffure and a sculpted bodice. And what do you have? Four and, and now 450 wear and 450 wear. I'm going to go ahead and give her a spin. She's generally excellent, circa 1875. Uh, bisque shoulder head of the lady with an oval face and elongated throat. Black sculpted hair with ringlet curls at the forehead and a ribbon at the crown. And a braid encircled chignon at the back of the head. Painted blue eyes, closed mouth, sculpted bodice with well defined tucks. Muslin stitch jointed body. And leather arms in an antique costume. And I'm at uh, 475? Five. Six, seven. You're going to make me count? It's just six and now 650 wear and 650 wear. 600 has a lot of fingers to count. 600 now 650 now 650 wear. You're giving my eyesight more credit than it deserves. And 600 now 650 wear and 650 wear. 600 is a bit now 650 now 650 wear. And 650 wear and 650 wear. 600 is a bit now 650. 650. 650 once. 650 twice. $600. Number 11 is an 18-inch German bisque brown complexioned doll by Heinrich Handwerk with the original body finish. It's generally excellent handwork, circa 1910. Four and a quarter. And now 450 wear and 450 wear and four and a quarter is a bit now 450 now 450 wear and 450 wear and four and a quarter is a bit now 450 450. It's a bisque socket head with brown co with brown complexion and uh, brown glass eyes, open mouth, four porcelain teeth, pierced ears, uh, brown composition and wooden. Uh, ball jointed body, antique costume. I think I'm at 500. 
and now 550 where and 550 where and 500 bit now 550 now 550 where and 550 where and 500 bit now 550 and 550 and 550 once and 550 twice everybody happy $500 777 number 12 is an 18 inch French Bisque Bebe by Leon Casimir Brew with the original body. I have absentee bids. I'm going to show the costume first. It's the nice silk dress that is included. I have 6,500 on the absentee. Yes. And now 7,000. That beats the absentee. 7,000. And $7,000. Yes? Yes? And 72.50. Yes. And now 75. It's a Bisque Swivel Head on a bisque shoulder plate with a molded bosom, uh, blue glass paperweight eyes with spiral threading, thick dark eyeliner, rose blush eyeshadow, brush stroked and feathered brows, shaded nostrils, closed mouth with a molded tongue tip between the outlined lips, pierced ears, kid baby body with gusset jointing, bisque forearms, bisque head and hands are excellent except there is a restored left thumb, otherwise it probably would have been uh, catalog. The bisque shoulder plate is also restored and there's some patching on the kid body. But it's a nice buy for someone who wants a doll this wonderful without paying the astronomical catalog prices. And where are we? Looking for 95. No. And $9,500 where? And $9,500 where? And $9,250 down $95. And $95. And $9,500 where? And $9,500 where? Comes with the undergarments and the antique silk dress. And $9,500 where? And $9,500 where? And $9,250 down $9,500. $9,500. $9,500 once. And $9,500 twice. And $9,500 down $9,500. And $9,500 where? And $9,500 down $9,500. And $9,500 where? And $9,500 down $9,500. And $9,500 once. And $9,500 twice. And $9,500 once. And $9,500 number 13 is a 22 inch German bisque character. 257 by Kestner with the original body and body finish. Excellent condition. Uh, Kestner, circa 1915, made in Germany. Bisque socket head, blue glass sleep eyes, and what do you have? Two and now two and a quarter wear and two and a quarter wear. Painted features, open mouth, two porcelain upper teeth, blonde mohair wig composition, bent limb baby body. It's a Kestner 257. I'm a 200 looking for two and a quarter and two and a quarter and two and a quarter and two and a quarter once and two and a quarter twice. Two hundred dollars. Seven sixteen. Okay, number fourteen is a thirteen-inch Jern Bisque art character Gretchen, model one fourteen by Kamer and Reinhardt. It's uh, circa nineteen ten. The model Gretchen from the firm's Art Character Reform series. Generally excellent condition. Nine fifty. And now a thousand dollars where nine thousand dollars where nine fifty is a bit. A thousand a thousand dollars where it's a Bisque socket head, painted blue eyes, closed mouth with the downcast pouting expression. Blonde human hair wig composition and wooden ball jointed body. I'm at nine fifty looking for a thousand. Antique costume. A thousand dollars where and a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars once and a thousand dollars twice. Nine fifty. Seven five eight. And number fifteen is an eleven inch German bisque Asian character baby Elar. Eller, it's this by Marseille. It's uh, generally excellent, circa 1920. What do you have? 275. And now 300 dollars wear and 300 dollars wear. It's a solid dome bisque socket head, amber tinted complexion, shaded painted black hair, tiny brown glass sleep eyes, closed mouth with an impish smile, composition bent limb baby body, antique silk costume with embroidered detail. I'm at 275 looking for three and three and three hundred dollars once and three hundred dollars white twice. Generally excellent condition, circa 1920. 275. 793. Number 16 is a 10 inch German bisque lady doll, blonde sculpted hair, mechanical walking body. It's in excellent condition. The mechanism works slowly. It's Germany circa 1875. The doll has a rare coiffure bodice and wears a superb antique gown. Do I have anything? Any bids? We're looking for 450 and 450 wear and 450 wear. Now, the other person who auctions up here sometimes, Luke is much better at making these mechanical things work. But I, being Stuart, am, am going to, how do you, let me see. When wound, she moves her brass feet, well, she's got brass feet, of course she moves slowly, by the means of her tiny hidden wheels within, hidden within each foot. So, where's the key? Oh, 
okay, well, there we go. <laughs> and we're off. <laughs> um, looking for 450 and 450 where and 450 where. Does she come with a key? And 450 wear, bisque shoulder head with a blonde sculpted hair having ringlet curls at the forehead, braid outline, chignon at the back of the head. Actually, she really is quite nice. I'm going to come up close. You can see her hair. Facial features, closed mouth, sculpted bodice. I don't believe she comes with a key. But I'll show her and take a look at the detail on her hair. And at the very least, I can certainly show the wheels on her feet. Okay, and looking for 450. 450 once and 450 twice. Anything? Okay. <laughs> well, that followed the usual pattern, didn't it? All right, number 17 is a 17 inch French bisque bebe reclaim, reclame by uh, Jumeau. Size 7. Uh, Excellent condition. Jumeau, a commissioned doll known as Reclame for a Paris department stores circa 1890. Especially beautiful eyes. Thank you. Let's have her look up and face the camera a little bit better. 19? Looking for 2000 There we go. And $2,000 where? And $2,000 where? And $2,000 where? Nine parents have been out $2,000 and $2,000 where? And $2,000 where? And now 22 And 22 And $2,200 where? And twenty-two hundred dollars bear. Two thousands have been out twenty-two and twenty-two hundred dollars bear. And twenty-two hundred dollars bear. And twenty-two hundred dollars bear. And two thousands have been out twenty-two. And twenty-two. And twenty-two hundred dollars once. And twenty-two hundred dollars twice. Two thousand dollars. Seven four zero. Number eighteen is a German musical mechanical vignette dance party in the garden by Zinner and Sohn. The biscuit's is excellent. Uh, the music and mechanism function well. That was, nine. and now 950 wear, 950 wear, 950 wear. It's a wooden base with a uh, paper cover displaying five bisque-headed children in a garden with a setting. Uh, let me see. When the handle is wound, as you can see, they dance around. The two larger children play liars. And the three, if that's how you pronounce it, and three smaller children twirl about as though dancing. The bisque is excellent. Uh, the mechanism functions well. The costumes are original, but a little dusty. And uh, the paper on the base, though, is a little worn. Uh, circa 1890. I'll get it up close so you can see what we mean by a little worn. Because I don't think you can see it head on like that. I'm at 950? Nine. Or 9? Oh, I thought I heard a ding. 900 on 950, 950 where, 950 where, and 950 where. 900 bit on 950, 950, 950 once, 950 twice, $900. 801. Okay, number 19. Number 19 is a 34-inch German Bist Child 1249 by Simon and Helbig. It's a grand size. We've got her in a chair, but she doesn't actually come with the chair. We're going to keep the chair. Uh, what do you have? Four. And now four and a quarter wear and four and a quarter wear. As a bisque socket head, blue glass sleeve eyes, dark eyeliner, uh, painted curly lashes, brushed stroked brows, accented nostrils and eye corners, open mouth, four porcelain teeth, pierced ears, blonde human hair wig, composition and wooden ball joint body, antique costume. The condition is generally excellent. Uh, the value points include beautiful wide-eyed child doll with very choice bisque and painting, rare model, original body and body finish. And she's generally excellent. Where are we? Five and now five fifty where and five fifty where five hundred but now five fifty five fifty now six and now six fifty and six fifty where and six fifty where six hundred but now six fifty now six fifty where and six fifty where and six fifty where six hundred but now six fifty and six fifty where if you want in six fifty six fifty six fifty once six fifty twice six hundred dollars number twenty is a 12-inch German Bisque Little Women Model 1160 by Simon and Halbig in excellent condition, circa 1900, and 150 wear, and 150 wear. It's a bisque shoulder head, brown glass sleep eyes, closed mouth, blonde mohair wig with ringlet curls, a leatherette torso, and jointed umper limbs, muslin lower legs, and lower legs, and bisque forearms. And she's nicely costumed. I'm at 150, looking for 175. And 175 wear, 175 wear. 150 is a bit to 175, and a 175 wear. At 175 where, 175 where, and 150 is a bit, no, 175, 175, 175 once, 175 twice, 
150. Seven, Number 21 is a 21 inch French Bisque Eden Bebe by Fleischmann and Bloedel. Fleischmann and Bloedel. Anti or excuse me, original body, well, which would also make it an antique body. What do you have? $850. And now $900 bare, $900 bare, $850 is a bit on nine, and $900 bare. It's generally excellent. Original body and body finish circa 18. 95. Bisque socket head, brown glass, inset eyes, lushly painted brows and lashes, closed mouth, uh, brunette human hair over a cork pate, French composition, and wooden fully jointed body. I'm at 850 looking for nine. And nine hundred dollars where nine hundred dollars where an eight fifty is a bit on nine. Nine, nine hundred dollars once and nine hundred dollars twice. Eight fifty. Seven one seven. Number twenty two is an 18-inch German cloth character doll type 1 by Kathy Cruz. Generally excellent, nicely costumed from the 1920s. 950. And now $1,000 wear and $1,000 wear. 950 is a bit of $1,000. $1,000 wear. It's an all-cloth doll. And a closed mouth with pouting lips and stitch jointed arms. And I think I'm at 950. Is that what you said? A thousand dollars wear, a thousand dollars wear. Nine fifty is a bit now thousand. A thousand dollars wear, a thousand dollars wear. And nine fifty is a bit now thousand. A thousand dollars once, a thousand dollars twice. Nine fifty. Seven two six. Number twenty three is. A 15 inch German bisque character 7129 by Gebruder Hubach. It's a solid dome bisque shoulder head, blonde painted hair, blue and tacleo eyes with the white eye dots. Can, can you make that out? I'll get it up close if you can. Uh, closed mouth, uh, modeled as though open, with two beaded lower teeth, kid pin jointed torso and legs, composition ball jointed arms, great costume of tartan boys suit. Generally excellent. I'm looking for 200 and 200 dollars bear and 200 dollars bear and 200 dollars bear. Any answer to and 200 dollars bear if you want and 200 dollars bear. Cabrera Hue Box circa 1912 and 200 and 200 and 200 dollars once and 200 dollars twice. No interest and we will pass him. Number 24 is a pair of Chinese wooden Door of Hope dolls. They are a bride and a groom. They're generally excellent, circa 1925. Each has a carved wooden head, painted hair, and tinted facial features. Cloth body, wooden hands, each is wearing uh, an original, superb, sewn silk costume. I'll get up nice and close so you can see all the details because far away is not doing it. I'm looking for $600 for the pair, and $600 wear. And $600 wearing the pair. And $600 wear. And six hundred and six hundred dollars once, and six hundred dollars twice. No interest, and we will pass them. Number twenty-five is a seven-inch German bisque lady shoulder head with blonde sculpted hair, iron cross, and a sculpted bodice and. Excellent condition, circa 1870. Two, and now two and a quarter wear, and two and a quarter wear. It's a bisque shoulder head with blonde sculpted hair. It's waved into the face into deeply arranged curls with a black bead coronet, painted blue eyes, pierced ears, closed mouth, with a sculpted bodice featuring a ruffled neckline and a black iron cross necklace in excellent condition. I'm at 200, looking for two and a quarter, and two and a quarter wear, and two and a quarter wear. Again, we have a tremendous amount of detail in the carving of the hair, and two and a quarter wear, and two and a quarter wear, and two and a bit now, two and a quarter, and two and a quarter, and two and a quarter once, and two and a quarter twice, two hundred dollars. Seven, nine, seven. Number 26 is an eight inch German bisque baby Stuart with a sculpted bonnet. Let's see, looking up, there we go. Um, what do you have? 175. And now one and 200, that's two and a quarter, and two and a quarter wear, and two and a quarter wear. Towards the bit now, two and a quarter, now two and a quarter wear, and two and a quarter wear, and two and a quarter wear. It's a bisque socket head with sculpted white baby bonnet decorated with red roses and vines and taglio blue eyes. Closed mouth with a downcast pouting lips, composition baby body. It's the Hubach sunburst mark. It's Germany, excellent condition, circa 1915. And I'm sorry, 200? Looking for two and a quarter? Yes, 200 is a bit now, two and a quarter, two and a quarter, two and a quarter once, and two and a quarter twice. And that'll be two hundred dollars. 
798. Thank you. Number 27 is a 13-inch German Bisque portrait of Uncle Sam by Dressel. Excellent edition. Kuno and Otto Dressel, circa 1895, from their American Historical Series, uh, based on the Thomas Nast drawings of Uncle Sam with the angular face and the prominent nose, cheekbones and the jaw. Very distinctive. Brown glass inset eyes. Very thick sculpting of the gray uh, eyebrows. Closed mouth. Uh, beaming smile. And uh, $400 and $400 bear. And $400 bear if you want a $400 bear. And four, and $400 bear. And $400 bear. And four hundred dollars bear. And four hundred dollars bear. Any interested for it. Four hundred dollars bear if you wanted Uncle Sam. And four hundred dollars bear. And now four and a quarter wear. And four and a quarter wear. Four hundred bit now four and a quarter. Now four and a quarter wear. And four and a quarter wear. Four hundred bit now four and a quarter. And now four fifty. And four fifty. And four fifty. Four and a quarter bit now four fifty. Now four fifty. And now four seventy five. And now four seventy five. And four seventy five. Four fifty bit now four seventy five. Four seventy five. And 475, and 475 once, and 475 twice, <clears throat> 450. Number 28 is a 21 inch French Bisque Bebe figure 8, figure A, excuse me, by Jules Steiner with the original Steiner body. 15. And now sixteen hundred dollars wear and sixteen hundred dollars wear and fifteen's a bit now sixteen and sixteen hundred dollars wear. It's a bisque socket head, blue glass paperweight, inset eyes, mauve blushed eyeshadow, closed mouth, shaded lips, pierced ears, blonde mohair wig, composition, uh, Steiner fully jointed body, pretty antique costume. The condition is excellent. It's circa 1889, especially beautiful bisque and painting. And I'm at fifteen, looking for sixteen, and sixteen hundred dollars wear. And sixteen hundred dollars bear, and fifteen's a bit now sixteen, and sixteen hundred dollars bear, and sixteen hundred dollars bear, and fifteen's a bit now sixteen, and sixteen hundred dollars bear, and sixteen, and sixteen, and sixteen hundred dollars once, and sixteen hundred dollars twice, fifteen hundred. Seven eight seven. Number twenty nine is an eleven inch German bisque painted eye googly with sculpted hair. Very interesting, fascinating little character guy. Two. And now two and a quarter wear and two and a quarter wear. It's a bisque shoulder head with a solid dome, painted black side parted hair, waved uh, across the forehead, painted facial features, very large painted brown side glance and googly eyes with the all around painted lashes, tiny nose, and the very distinctive O shaped tiny mouth. Uh, commercial pink muslin body, composition hands, nicely costumed, uh, excellent condition, circa 1915. And that's two and a quarter, and that's 250, and 275 wear, and 275, and now 300. And three hundred dollars bear, 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 and three hundred dollars bear. Two seventy five and now three hundred and three hundred dollars bear if you want, and three hundred dollars bear, and three hundred dollars bear, and two seventy five and now three hundred, three hundred dollars bear if you want, and three hundred dollars bear, and three hundred dollars bear, and two seventy five and now three hundred, and three hundred and three hundred dollars once, and three hundred dollars twice. Two seventy five. fifteen. Number thirty is a ten inch German Biss character seventy six o two by Gerberto Hubach in. A high chair. So this one does come with the high chair. Um, it's generally excellent. Circa 1912. It's a solid domed bisque socket head, blonde sculpted short hair, intaglio dark blue eyes, closed mouth with a pouting expression, and composition baby body in an antique costume. And I'm looking for 150 and 150 wear. 150 wear if you wanted a 150 wear. And 150 wear. And 150 wear. Any answer 150. 150 wear if you wanted a 150 wear. All right, it doesn't come with a chair then. Fine. And 150 wear. And 150 wear. How about just the chair? And 150 wear. And 150 wear. All right, you can have them both together. And now 150 wear. And 150 wear. 150 once, 150 twice. Okay. Number 31 is a 19 inch 1930s felt studio doll with the original costume. It's in very good to excellent condition with beautiful facial painting from the 1930s. What do you have? Two and a quarter. And now 250 wear and 250 wear and two and a quarter is about now 250 now. 250 wear and 250 wear. It's a felt swivel head with uh, pressed and painted facial features, brunette human hair in long ringlet curls, jointed at the shoulders and hips, wearing an original costume. Two and a quarter now 250 and 250 wear and 250 wear and two and a quarter is about now 250 now 275 and 275 and now 300 and now 300 and now 300. 275 and now 300 and 300 and $300 once and $300 twice. 
275. Number 32 is a 19 inch Jaren Bisque character with a pouting expression. Uh, 115A by Kamer and Reinhardt. It's their Philip model from the art character series. What do you have? And now $1,200 wear and $1,200 wear. The doll has exceptional modeling. Bisque, original body and body finish, and the original wig. It's in excellent condition. The bisque socket head, brown glass sleep eyes, closed mouth with very full lips and a pouting expression, a blonde mohair wig, and a composition bent limb baby body. I'm 11 looking for 12 and 12 and $1,200 once and $1,200 twice. $1,100. 717. Number 33 is a 5-inch German mohair perfume teddy by Shuko. Golden mohair teddy with a swivel head, jointed arms and legs. The head removes for access to the perfume bottle inside in very good condition from the 1930s in Germany and... Boop! How about that? All right, what do you have? One and a quarter. And I 125 wear, 125 wear. 100 been 125 and I 125 wear. I want 25 wear. 100 bid now 125 and I want 25 wear. If you want it, I want 25 wear. 100 bid now 125. 125. 125 once. And now 150. And now 175. At 175. 150 is a bid now 175 and I want 75 wear. At 175 wear. At 175 wear. 150 is a bid now 175. 175. 175. 175 once. 175 twice. 150. 756. Number 34 is a 24-inch Jurin Bisque character, Hilda, by Kessner. It's generally excellent. The body's repainted Kessner. They're Hilda model, circa 1914. It's a solid uh, domed bisque socket head, painted baby hair, blue glass sleep eyes, open mouth, two porcelain teeth, composition bent limb, baby body, and a nice antique costume. That was... And now $900 wear. And nine hundred dollars wear. Eight fifty seven nine and nine hundred dollars wear. Let's get him looking at the camera a little bit more. And nine hundred dollars wear. And nine hundred dollars wear. Eight fifty seven nine and nine hundred dollars wear. And nine hundred dollars wear. And nine hundred dollars wear. Eight fifty seven nine and nine hundred dollars wear. If you want, and nine hundred dollars wear. And nine hundred dollars wear. And eight fifty seven nine and nine and nine hundred dollars once. And nine hundred dollars twice. Everybody happy? Eight fifty. Eight oh seven. Number 35 is a 13 inch French wooden character baby. Wow, how about that? I don't see that often. Okay, it's also called Toutonboise, which is French for Toutonboise. It's a solid <laughs> domed, carved wooden socket head, painted hair, uh, blue glass eyes, closed mouth. Carved wooden baby uh, body, antique costume, generally excellent. French circa 1910. It's all in something. I don't know what bois means. Okay. Two and a quarter. And now 250 wear, and 250 wear, and 250 wear, and 250 wear, and 250 wear. Two and a quarter, but now 250, now 250 wear, and 250 wear, and 250 wear. Two and a quarter, but now 250, and 250, and 250, and 250. Once. All in wood. Yeah. All in wood. All that makes a little too much sense. Okay, and 250 wear, and 250 wear, and two and a quarter is a bit now 250. I thought for a minute I thought it was all in mouth, and I'm thinking that that does not sound right. And 250 wear, and 250 wear, and two and a quarter is a bit now 250, now 250 wear, and 250 wear, and 250 wear, and two and a quarter is a bit now 250, now 250 wear, and 250, and 250 once, and 250 twice, two and a quarter. Seven one seven. Number thirty six is. 29-inch, a 29-inch German Bisque Child 4433 by Gerberta Kuhnlins. It's generally excellent, circa 1890. 275. And now $300 wear and $300 wear. It's a bisque socket head, blue glass inset eyes with spiral threading, dark eyeliner, painted lashes, brushed stroked brows, pierced ears. It's a Soderbergh composition and wooden fully jointed body. I'm sorry, where am I again? 275. And now $300 wear and $300 wear. And $275 and now $300 and $300 wear. And three hundred dollars wear and three hundred dollars wear. And three hundred dollars wear. Two seventy five and now three hundred and three hundred dollars wear. Is that And three hundred dollars wear. Well, she's certainly got an interesting face. And three hundred dollars wear. And three hundred dollars wear. And two seventy five and now three hundred and three hundred dollars wear. And three hundred dollars wear. And two seventy five and now three hundred and three hundred and three hundred dollars once and three hundred dollars twice. Two seventy five. Seven one seven. Number thirty seven. Is a ten inch Jurin Bisque character. 
985 by Marseille in a trunk with costumes. What do you have? 150. And now 175 where? 175 where? It's a bisque socket head, brown glass, sleep eyes, open mouth, two upper teeth. Uh, but more importantly, it comes along with a smaller bisque baby in the original box. Generally excellent. So here's this, and here's the smaller one. Okay. What do I have? 150. And now 175 where? And here's the box lid for that. Here's a little hat. Here's something. Here's a pink something. Here's... I guess that's a billfold, so when he goes out to spend money. Here's a brush, and there's a lot more clothes. Okay, and I'm at 150, looking for 175, 175, 175 once, 175 twice, 150. 726. Okay, number 38 has a lot of interest. I have absentee bids. What do you have? 55. Uh, 5750. 6000? 6, yes. I have 6250, 65. 6, yes. And I need 6750 and 6750 where? And 6750 where? And 65 and now 6750 and 6750 where? In the meantime, this is a 20-inch French bisque by Leon Casimir Brew with the original body. She's got a bisque swivel head on a kid-edged bisque shoulder head with a modeled, modeled bosom, uh, blue glass inset eyes, brush-stroked brows, uh, rose-blushed eyeshadow, closed mouth, defined space between the outlined lips, pierced ears, brunette mohair wig over a cork pate, French kid bebe body with a uh, kid over wooden upper arms, bisque forearms. She's nicely dressed. The bisque head is excellent. There is a hairline at the front of the shoulder plate at the kid edge, and both hands are original, all bayet restored circa 1888. Again, uh, you're not paying the catalog price, but you're getting a really nice tall. And I'm at 65, looking for 67.50. And 67.50 once, and 67.50 twice. Everybody happy? 6,500 to the phone bidder, Josh. Okay. Number 39 is a Sterling Chatelaine with a dance card. Is there, is there a dance card? Uh, marked Sterling Silver dance card with hinged sheets. Oh, is that what's in there? Why can't, why can't I open it? Oh, I got it. Okay. I'm going to get up close on this one. This is going to be kind of hard to... Oh, there's actually a name in there. There are several little names. Okay, so... I'm not sure what that is, but this is the dance card. And it's got little names written in it. Like there's Jeff and somebody. I don't know. But Jeff must have been a reoccurring thing because there's Jeff again. Jeff got a lot of dances, apparently. Okay. And this is a makeup thing, I think, because there's a little mirror. And I don't know what that was supposed to be. Okay, and there's a little pencil. Sorry, that tag's in the way. Okay, where are we? 150. And now 175 where? 175 where? 150 is a bit now 175, and now 175 where? At 175 where? 150 is a bit now 175. 175. Oh, it's a pill holder. At 175 where? At one, I guess dance clubs don't change that much. At 175 once, 175 twice. 150. Number 40 is a, are two 10-inch German porcelain half dolls with attached bodies. Okay, each is a waist-up porcelain figure of a lady with arms extended in front along with a muslin body and porcelain lower legs. Uh, excellent condition, but as, except as noted, which is that uh, one has a tiny flake and one fingertip along with, uh, I think that's it. Oh, there's some frailty to one of the costumes. Circa 1900 and? 375. And now $400 wear and $400 wear and 375 and now 400 and $400 wear if you want and $400 wear. And $400 wear and 375 and now 400 and $400 and $400 once and $400 twice. Everybody happy? This is for the pair. 375. Seven, two, four. Number 41 are seven German all bisque miniature dolls with glass eyes and no Snow White. It's a joke because there are seven of them. Okay, uh, each one has. I'm going to get up close. Uh, they're all in generally excellent, circa 1910, and each is, uh, you know, all bisque, and uh, they're color coded. Basically, they're all like flavored, like Starburst. Um, 375. And now 400 dollars wear and 400 dollars wear and 375 and now 400 and 400 dollars wear and 400 dollars wear and 375 and now 400 and 400 and 400 dollars once and 400 dollars twice. 
Is that four? four and, and now 450, and now 475, and 475. And 475. And 450 now 475. And 475 where? And 475 where? And 450 is a bit now 475. And 475. White stockings with those little blue trim and the black shoes was like Crocs back then. Everybody, everybody was wearing them. Okay. How are we doing? 450. And now 475 once and 475 twice. 450. 74. Okay. Number 42 is. A 14-inch Jaren Bisque painted eye art character 182 by testing the original body and body finish. Generally excellent. Circa 1910. 750. 750? Yep. And now $800 wear and $800 wear and $750 is a bit now eight. $800 wear and $800 wear and $750 is a bit now eight. $800 wear if you want. $800 wear. Uh, she's a bisque socket head, painted blue eyes and well-defined eye sockets, painted upper lashes, closed mouth, excellent. 750. Is a 7 inch German Bisque closed mouth doll model 128 by Kessner. Generally excellent. Uh, there we go. Okay. 350. And now $400 bearing. $400 bearing. 350 is a bit up. Uh, 375. I'm sorry. 350 now 375. And now 375 where? And 375 where? And 375 where? It's uh, excellent condition. Circa 1890. And 375 where? And 375 where? And 350, now, now 400. Four, and now fifth, four and a quarter. And four and a quarter. Four hundred have been now four and a quarter. Now four and a quarter where? And four and a quarter where? Four hundred have been now four and a quarter. Now four and a quarter where? And now 450. And now 450. And now 475. And 475. The body has no flaws. Because, because there isn't one. And uh, we're at 450. Now 475. 475. 475 once. And 475 twice. 450. 758. Number 44 is a 22-inch, he's fantastic, felt portrait doll of a gentleman in the original costume in the Stife Manor, marked prototype. I think that's a weird name for him, but okay. Can you see his? Oh, yeah, you can. He is very Stife-like, actually. Two. And now two and a quarter wear, two and a quarter wear, two hundred and a quarter wear. It's actually marked Scrooge number one, because I was actually thinking that he has a very Ebenezer Scrooge look. In fact... If you turn to the side, go back up to the top, Josh, you can see that his hat features a little um, mistletoe. Okay. And uh, where are we? $275. And now $300 bearing, $300 bearing, $275 and now $300 bearing, $300 bearing, $275 and now $300 bearing, $300 bearing, $300 bearing. Takes a special kind of guy to make uh, those sideburns work, let me tell you. That is, that is a difficult look to pull off. I don't think I could do it. You pretty much have to be a, a barista or a Civil War general. <clears throat> Maybe a guitarist. I think a guitarist could probably do it. Um, where are we? 375. 400, now 4 and a quarter. And now 450. And 450. Now a Civil War general who played guitar and specialized in coffee. Those sideburns are made for that guy. Somebody online thinks you could pull it off. Thinks I could pull it off? Yeah, I definitely have the graying part down. Um, where are we? Sorry, four, and now 450, and 450 where, and 450 where, and four and a quarter is about 450, now 450 where, and 450 where, and 450. I have the curmudgeon anger. And four, four and a quarter, now 450, 450 once, and 450 twice, but I love Christmas. So, and four and a quarter is about now 450, now 450 where, and 450 once, and 450 twice. One of the few holidays I really love. Four and a quarter. Number 45 is a German black complexion 30 eyed toddler. Uh, she is generally excellent. Typical wig pulls, though, around the crown rim, circa 1930. I have absentee bids on this. What do you have? 150. I have uh, 175, 200. And $200 wear, and $200 wear. 175 and now 200, and $200 wear. Uh, terracotta socket head with ebony black complexion, brown uh, glass, 30 eyes, open mouth, two, that's 200. I have two and a quarter, 250 beats my absentee. Two porcelain upper teeth, five piece black composition toddler body, antique costume marked 134, 124, 250, now 275, and 275 wear. She's generally excellent. 275 wear, and 250 is about 275. 275 once, 275 twice. She's terracotta, and 275, 250. 805. Number 46 are 40. German miniature animals by Lionel 
with extraordinary detail of sculpting. Um, yeah, we have uh, camels of with one and two humps. We have bison. We have rhinos. We have cheetahs, lions. We have baby versions of all the animals I just said. We have hares, donkeys, something I've never seen before. Monkeys. What do you ha- what do you have? Is that two? And now four hundred dollars where there's a doction in there too, which is odd because a lot of these feel very like wilderness, like safari or jungle, but there's also like a little corgi and a little dachshund. So it's like, we're out in the Serengeti today looking for the rare wild dachshund. Okay. And the other box has... uh, Let me see. Turtle, a very unhappy bear. Another bear that's trying to calm him down. Bill, Bill, ease up. Okay, and uh, a woman who's lost, I think. And uh, some other stuff. All right, there's a seal. There's a, a pig with a bunch of little babies. And the, what do we have? 375. And now $400 bear and $400 bear and $400 bear and 375 and now 400 and 400 dollars once and 400 dollars twice. 375. Number 47 is a 20 inch rare model of a French bisbee by Jumeau, marked P10 signed Jumeau body in excellent condition circa 1888. It's a rare model with distinctive and a most compelling expression. And now $2,200 wear and $2,200 wear. 2000s a bit now $22 and $2,200 wear. And $2,200 bear. It's a bisque socket head, blue glass, paperweight, inset eyes, lushly painted lashes and brows, closed mouth with rich outlined lips, pierced ears, brunette mohair wig over a cork, paint, French composition, wooden, fully jointed body. And again, she's in excellent condition. I'm at 22 looking for 24. And $2,400 bear and $2,400 bear and 22 and now 24 and $2,400 bear and $2,400 bear and 22 and now 24 and $2,400 and now 26 and 26. And twenty four now twenty six and twenty six hundred dollars wear and twenty six hundred dollars wear and twenty four now twenty six and twenty six and twenty six hundred dollars once and twenty six hundred dollars twice twenty four hundred eight ten number forty eight is a seven inch German all bisque bilo cute little thing with a swivel head sleep eyes an original paper label it's excellent condition circa nineteen twenty three I'll get up close on this what do you have two seventy five and now three hundred dollars bear and three hundred dollars bear and two seventy five and now three hundred let me get that tag out of the way and three hundred dollars bear and two seventy five and now three hundred and three hundred dollars bear and three hundred dollars bear and two seventy five and now three hundred and three hundred and three hundred dollars once and three hundred dollars twice two seventy five seven oh three Okay, number 49 are 12 German porcelain half dolls as stylish flappers. I'll get up close on these and I'll do it very gently. What do you have? 175. And now $200 wear. And $200 wear. 175 and now 200 and $200 wear. And $200 wear and $200 wear. How's that? Can you? Mm-hmm. 175 and now 200 and $200 wear. And $200 wear. 175 and now 200 and 200 and $200 once. And two hundred dollars twice. One seventy-five. Seven two four. Okay, number fifty is <clears throat> a fourteen-inch German bisque flapper lady, model fourteen sixty-nine by Simon Helbig, with a rare original body. It's generally excellent. There's a tiny flake on the uh, left upper eye. The eyes are set. The original body and body finished with some light retouch on hand circa 1915. Seven. And now 750 wear. And now 8. And now 8. 750 is a bit now 8. 800 Now 850. And 850. And 850 wear. And 850 wear. And 850 wear. The really nice thing though is the wooden fully jointed flapper style body with the elongated limbs. 850. And now 9. And 900 dollars wear. And 950. Show, keep the whole body. Yeah. Keep the whole body in the shot if you can. Yeah. And now a thousand, a thousand dollars wear. Nine fifty is on the phone. Now a thousand, a thousand dollars wear. And a thousand, that's right. Yes. And now eleven. Eleven. Yes. And now twelve. And twelve hundred dollars wear. And twelve hundred dollars wear. Eleven's a bit out. Now thirteen. Thirteen hundred. And now thirteen. Yeah. And now fourteen. And fourteen hundred dollars wear. 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 And thirteen's a bit now fourteen and fourteen and fourteen hundred dollars once and fourteen hundred dollars twice. 
1,300. Number 51 is a 23-inch rare German bisque character, 1498 by Simon and Helbig. Uh, the bisque is excellent, uh, crazing on the torso and the legs of the body. Circa 1915, it's a rare model. It's a solid dome bisque socket head, blonde brush-stroked hair with a feather detail and blue glass sleep eyes. Thousand. And now eleven hundred dollars wear, eleven hundred dollars wear, thousands of it now eleven hundred, eleven hundred dollars wear, eleven hundred dollars wear, thousands of it now eleven hundred, eleven hundred dollars wear, and eleven hundred dollars wear, thousands of it now eleven hundred, eleven hundred dollars wear, eleven hundred dollars wear, thousands of it now eleven hundred, eleven hundred dollars wear, eleven hundred dollars wear, thousands of it now eleven hundred, eleven hundred dollars once, eleven hundred dollars twice, thousand dollars. How convenient. Number fifty two. That's a really old joke, by the way, so if you laughed at that, that's, I only threw it in there because it's, it's been around for a while. Number 52 is a uh, lot of little dolls by Kerr and Hines in the original boxes with two black dolls. I am going to bring it up close, but in the meantime, I have absentee bids. 150. I have 125, or 175, 200. And 200 dolls wear. And 200 dolls wear. 175 on the absentee, now 200 and 200 dollars wear, and 200 dollars wear. 175 and now 200 and 200 dollars wear if you want, and 200 dollars wear. This one's, the one in the upper right hand corner's head is turned to the side. I just, I don't want to get to it because I'd have to let go. At 175 and now 200, I have two and a quarter and now 250. And 250. Two and a quarter's have been now 250, now 250 wear. And 250 wear. And two and a quarter's have been now 250, now 250 wear. And 250 wear. And 250 wear. Two and a quarter's with me, and now 250, and 250, and 250, and 250. Once. And 250 twice. Two and a quarter to my absentee. <laughs> Number 53 are seven German porcelain miniature frozen Charlotte dolls between two and six inches. I have absentee bids on this as well. What do you have? 200. I have two and a quarter, now 250. And 250 wear, and 250 wear, and two and a quarter, but now 250, now 250 wear. And 250 wear, and 250 wear, and two and a quarter have been now 250, now 250 wear, and 250 wear, and 250 wear, and two and a quarter have been now 250, and 250 wear if you want, and 250 wear, two and a quarter have been now 250, 250, 250 once, 250 twice, two and a quarter to my absentee. Number 54. <clears throat> Is a 19-inch French musical French musical automaton, the Chinese Tea Server, by Leopold Lambert. It's uh, the music plays throughout, uh, sturdy, structurally excellent, and with especially beautiful bisque. The left arm needs a judgment, needs a, adjustment. I'm trying to see when wound. It does seem to work. So what do you have? 23. 24. 2400. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay. Again, we know the left arm needs some adjustment. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. I didn't wind it too much, so it may not play for too long. I don't like to overwind them. And you can see the left arm's not getting too involved. So that may need a little bit of adjustment, but otherwise I'm at 23. I turn it off now. Look over $24 and $2,400 wear and $2,400 wear and $23 now $24 and $24 and $2,400 once and $2,400 twice and the music was playing fine. I hope everyone could hear it. And tw- you know what? Could they? And $23 now $24 and $2,400 once and $2,400 twice. $2,300. Number 55 is a 14 inch French bisque character with a wonderfully chubby toddler body. I feel like that's a very judgmental word, but I could just be bringing my own baggage into that. 1272 by Franz Schmidt. Uh, It's uh, generally excellent. Fewer paint flakes on the original body. Finish, Franz Schmidt, great bisque and expression. And there it is again, a wonderful chubby toddler body. That's, That's very hurtful. Circa 1915, where are we? Three. And now three and a quarter wear and three and a quarter wear. Three and a bit now three and a quarter now three and a quarter wear. Three and a quarter wear. Three and a bit now three and a quarter now three and a quarter. And now three fifty. And three fifty. And three fifty. Three and a quarter bit now three seventy five. And three seventy five. And now four hundred. He he could grow up to have those sideburns. I think. Three seventy five is what we're looking for. 
we, we have. Three, 375 and L400 and $400 bear. And $400 bear. And 375 and L400 and $400 bear if you want. And $400 bear. And $400 bear. 375 and L400 and $400 once. And $400 twice. Three seventy five and L400 and $400 bear. 792 and L400 and $400 bear. 792 Number 56 is a German mohair poodle with glass eyes and jointed uh, head and legs. It's in a rare brown color. Can you, can you see the eyes? No? I think, no, I think I made it worse. That's not you, I think. You got them? There you go. I just want to make sure you can see the glass eyes, you know. Okay, where are we? 150. And now 175 where? 175 where? 150 is a bit of 175 and 175 where? Let me see if I can get him to stand on his own. Let's see if he will. And look at that. How cool is that? Look at that. Fully posable, folks. Fully posable. Try to, did this say I'm played with? Because he, because I don't know if it is now. Okay, there we go. Look at that. That's amazing. How are we doing? Two. And now two and a quarter wear and two and a quarter wear. Two and a bit out two and a quarter. Now two and a quarter wear and two and a quarter wear. Two and a bit out two and a quarter. Two and a quarter once and two and a quarter twice. Two hundred dollars. Seven five two. Number fifty seven. What, what was that? What was that look? Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. We have, these are, these are pretty awesome too. We have a trio of rare and amusing porcelain decanters by Schaefer and Vader. Back before, you know, he tried to take over the galaxy. Okay, I'm going to get up close on these. These are pretty cool. Each with their original cap. Where are we? One. And now 125 wear and 25 wear. That's just... Like thirty-three dollars a piece, folks, which is a pretty good price. One hundred on one twenty-five, one twenty-five, one twenty-five once, one twenty-five twice, and now one fifty. You know what? I just want to show one. I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick up two of them because I'm not sure if you could see. Here's this. This is the back. Okay, but I also want you to kind of see it from the side. You see it, it raises up off the top. It's pretty cool. And where are we now? 150. And now 175 and 175 once. Same with this one, you see. I'm just rolling it around so you can see the, the depth of the, not carving, but the bisque, I guess. 150, looking for 175. 175 once, 175 twice. 150. 752. Number 58 is a 20 inch French Bispe Bay La Parisienne by Steiner with the original dress and shoes. Uh, it's uh, generally excellent. Steiner successor to 1895, original Steiner body. In fact, original dress. Undergarments, leather shoes. What do I have? Nothing on this. All right. $1,500 wear. Great jump in price. She's generally excellent, folks. So, no problems here. Bisque socket head, blue glass sleep eyes, mohair lashes. Painted uh, lower lashes, brush stroked and feather brow, accented nostrils and eye corners, open mouth, four tiny teeth, pierced ears, brunette, human hair over cork pate, French composition, and wooden, fully jointed body. She's generally excellent. And I'm looking for $15 and $1,500 bear. And $1,500 bear if you want it. $1,500 bear. And $15 and $1,500 once. And fifteen hundred dollars twice on La Parisienne by Steiner, fifteen hundred. Okay, we'll pass her. Number fifty-nine is a family of Japanese miniature dolls with multi-layered original costumes. It's a family of them. Uh, they are three inches to six inches because I guess is there one? Well, there's a little one in front. Okay, you see him? Okay. Let's. I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to move his tag in the back so it's not blocking his view. You know what? Now it's just around his neck. I'm just going to take the tag off all together. How are we doing? 250. And now 275 wear and 275 wear. Early 1900s, excellent condition. Each has the original Gofin finish, enamel eyes, tinted features, three with painted hair, and the woman has black hair and the chignon, paper wrapped torso with the paper mache lower limbs, and each is wearing a multi layered antique original costume. I'm sorry. 250. And now 275 wear and 275 wear and 250 zip it out 275 and 275 once and 275 twice. 250. 
Number 60 is a 16-inch rare porcelain lady doll attributed to Libert and Haas of Schlagenwald. There's a... That's a really bad Scrabble poll right there is what that is. Okay, and uh, their check, circa 1850. 750. And now $800 bare and $800 bare and $800 bare and 750 is a bit of weight, $800 bare. It's a Celadone porcelain shoulder head, cobalt blue painted eyes, uh, richly painted lips, blushed cheeks, brunette human hair, muslin body, and a thick paste porcelain lowered limbs with bare feet. 750 now eight. $800 once and $800 twice. 750 Number 61 are three six-inch lithograph tin railroad cars, Mickey Mouse Circus by Lionel, and they come with a five-inch figure of a composition, Mickey Barker. In very good condition, Lionel licensed Disney circa 1935. I'm going to bring one up close. What do you have? Two. And now two and a quarter wear and two and a quarter wear. Two orange a bit now, two and a quarter now, two and a quarter wear. And two and a quarter wear. Two orange a bit now, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter once. Is that too close? Oh, here, I'll turn it. And two and a quarter. Oh, wait, just go ahead with it. I'm, I'm focusing on not getting a reflection. Let's just go with it for now. Yeah, this is all internet on this one anyway, so. And I'll just go ahead and show you the underside that says Made in USA of America, or US of America. In case, you know, supposed to the United States of Armenia. Okay, so, where are we? Four. And now four and a quarter wear and four and a quarter wear. Four hundred bit now four and a quarter. Four and a quarter once and four and a quarter twice. Four hundred dollars. Seven two eight. Number sixty two is an eighteen inch French wooden schoolroom ecole. Um, oh, can we just move the camera over to it? Yes, please. It's a wooden school with lettered facade. A coal hinges open to reveal interior space featuring four desks with benches upon which your seated papers say students. Two are kneeling dunce students at the front. Actually, there are four. Did I say two? Looks like there are four. Yeah, two kneeling dunce students at the front. Bisque headed gentleman teacher. Back walls are covered with various uh, studies and generally excellent. There appear to be four dunce kneeling students, not two. Okay, do I have anything? Nope. All right. And looking for $600, $600 wear, and $600 wear. Generally excellent. It's French circa 1890. And uh, $600 wear, and $600 wear, and $600 wear. And $600 wear. Let me tell you, there's nothing that a kid likes more than coming home from school and sitting down to play school. And $600 wear, and $600 wear, and $600 wear. And $600 once, and $600 twice. We'll pass it. Number 63. It's a 23-inch Jern Best Character Baby 211 by Kessner. It's generally excellent, Kessner. Circa 1912. Bisque socket head, brown glass, sleep eyes, open mouth, two lower teeth, brunette mohair wig, composition baby body, and an antique costume. And $200 bear if you want, and $200 bear, and $200 bear if you want, and $200 bear. And $200 bear if you want, and $200 bear, and $200 bear. And $200 bear if you want, and $200 bear, and $200, and $200 once, and $200 twice. Any interest? And we'll pass this one. 64. R2. Nine and a half inch early cast iron elephant mechanical banks. And how do they work? Let me see. Of cast iron, when the bank, when a coin is inserted to the tip of the trunk and the tail is lifted, the trunk lifts up and tosses the coin in the slot. Oh, okay. Well, that was violent. Okay, uh, one bank has coins intact. Intact. Must be this one. Okay, circa 1900. I have absentee bids. What do you have? Two. I have two and a quarter, 250. And 250 where? And 250 where? And two and a quarter, but now 250, now 250 where? And, and now 275, now 300. I have 300. Wait a minute. That's 250. I have 275. And now 300. And I have three and a quarter, 350. 350. 350. Three and a quarter, but now 350, now 350 where? And 350 where? And three and a quarter, but now 350, now 350. I have 375, and now 400. And now 400. And now 400. And 400. And 400. 
I have $375 and now $400 and $400 bear and $400 bear. I have $375 and now $400 and $400 bear if you want and $400 bear. I have $375 and now $400 and $400. I have four and a quarter now $450. And four fifty. Four and a quarter has been down four fifty, now four fifty where and four fifty where. And four and a quarter has been down four fifty. Now four fifty where and four fifty where. And four and a quarter has been down four fifty. And four fifty and four fifty once. And four fifty twice. Everybody happy? Four and a quarter. To my absentee. Number sixty-five is an 18-inch German bisque doll by Heinrich Hangwerk with the original signed body. It's generally excellent. Circa 1910. What do you have? 175. And now uh, $200 where and $200 where. 175 and now $200 and $200 where if you want and $200 where. And $200 where if you want and $200 where. 175 and now $200 and $200 where. And $200 where. 175 and now $200 and $200 where if you want and $200 where. And $200 and $200 once and $200 twice. 175. Number 66 are nine German porcelain half dolls, including Dressel and Kister, circa 1915. They are excellent, except as noted. I'm not going to read it. Feel free to do that yourself, because I want to bring them up close. Where are we? Four. And now four and a quarter where? Four hundred bit now four and a quarter now. Four and a quarter where? And four and a quarter where? And four hundred bit now four and a quarter now. Four and a quarter where if you want, and a four and a quarter where? And four and a quarter where? Four hundred bit now four and a quarter. And now four fifty. And four fifty. And four fifty. And four and a quarter, and now four seventy five. And now four seventy five. And four seventy five. And four fifty is a bit now four seventy five. And four seventy five once, and four seventy five twice. Four fifty. Seven two four. Okay, number sixty seven. Is a 13 inch German uh, glass eyed character 1428 by Simon Halbig in excellent condition. It's a rare model, antique costume, and a bent limb baby body. 375. And now $400 bear and $400 bear and $375 and now $400 and $400 bear if you want and $400 bear. And $400 bear and $400 bear and $375 and now $400 and $400 and $400 once. And $400 twice. 375. 716. Number 68 is a German porcelain half dolls and perfume bottles in excellent condition. Germany, circa 1910. And I'm looking for, it's 100. And I 125 where? 125 where? Again, I'm going to get up nice and close. I 125 where? I 125 where? And I 150. And I 150. 125 is a bit now 150. Now 150 where? And I 175. And 175. 150 is a bit now 175. And I 175 where? And 175 where? 150 is a bit now 175. 175. 175 once. 175 twice. 150. 724. Okay, and 69 is a trio of wooden hitty dolls. Uh, one is signed by the artist Larry Tyson. Uh, it's number 12 of 95, in excellent condition. And what do you have? Three and a quarter. And now 350 where? And 350 where? And 3 and a quarter is a bit now 350. Now 350 where? And 350 where? And 350 where? And 3 and a quarter is a bit now 350. 350. 350 once. 350 twice. 3 and a quarter. 752. Before I uh, do 70, I'm just going to remind everyone that we do have an auction in Annapolis on Friday. We are still going to hold it. Um, if you have any fear of the weather, please don't worry about it. Okay? We do them all the time. Number 70 are four character figures by J. Mar, including Amos and Andy, and Humpty Dumpty, and what is the giant dinosaur? Oh, it's, it's a dinosaur. Okay. The big, I guess that's Humpty Dumpty. Okay. And uh, circa 1930s. What do you have? One and a quarter. And now 150 where? And 50 where? And 150 where? 125 is a bit now 150. Now 150 where? And 150 where? And 50 where? 125 is a bit now 150. 150. 150. Once. 150 twice. 150. And 125 is a bit now 150. 150 once. 150 twice. 125. 752. Thank you all very much. Hope to see you next week. Or hope to see you Friday too. And stay safe if you're in the Carolinas, please. Want it? Need it? ProxyBid's got it. Buy and sell everything from collector cars and construction equipment to antiques, fine art, and more. Your next big find is waiting. Go get it at ProxyBid.com.